welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the host of the show, the psychic, the medium, the channel, if you will. Okay, so today's show is going to be very much like every other show I do. If you would like to call in and ask a question, the call-in number is 845-277-9100. If you would like to join us live on YouTube in the chat, you can go ahead and post a question there. I go live every Monday at noon, and I'm trying something new doing Wednesdays at 7 p.m. So I can um, reach people who have different work schedules. So I'm hoping that's going to be successful. Um, I start every show with a few announcements and then names of people from heaven and then songs for you, for from them, for you, or about them, and then maybe a little channeling. Today, we are going to take our time during this show. I realize that sometimes during a show, I'm so nervous um, about getting to every single caller or trying to get every single, oh, see the stress. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Whew. About trying to get to everybody that sometimes I'm just like, you know, I'm answering the questions, but I'm really trying to get through it. So right now I'm going to take, today is a show where I'm just going to take my time with everything I do during the show, no matter what. So brace yourself. <laughs> just brace yourself because there may be a lot, a lot of rambling. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. So the first thing I want to say, you can also connect with me on social media. On TikTok, I put out healings prior to every show, and today's healings are two of my favorite. The first one is being able to let go of what no longer serves us. And the second one is um, uh, to like and to love yourself, like everything about yourself, the way you want somebody to like and love you. So those are the clearings on TikTok that I put out this morning. And they... Um, are pretty powerful. Through the second one, I couldn't even finish talking. Like I had to like be like, okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, and then I am also on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. So the one thing I want to say about any social media, I will never ever reach out and tell anybody they need a reading. It's time for a reading. I need money. Um, cash at me and I'll send you a reading. I don't do that. Listen, I don't even like to return tax messages because it's way too much. This, you know, um, I, and I'm going to tell you, just call me because I, even a brand new client uh, reached out and wanted to book a session and she was texting. I said, oh, please, you know, please call me. And I meant to say, I don't book first time clients through text. And it came out, I don't F first time clients through text. And well, thank goodness she had the most amazing sense of humor. And she said it made her day. Uh, but yes, this is exactly why I don't text or email people <laughs> because my phone has a wicked sense of humor and that's what ends up coming out. Okay. So if you do want to, if, but if you do want a reading, um, you can uh, go to my website, which is T O N I G dot I N F O. I do book readings, private group, and events. If you're interested, that is how to get a hold of me. Or you can call my business number 414-897-2869.
Having said that, the next thing I will say again is if you would like to call in and ask a question today or connect with a loved one on the other side, the number is um, 897-286. No, that's, that again is my number. The number is 845-277-9131. I apologize for that. Um, <clears throat> okay, I think I said everything I need to say about that. I am going to go directly into the... Uh, I'm going to go directly into the names. So these are names of people I would hear from. It's either your name or your loved one in heaven's name, but I just hear the name and I give you what I get. Um, and yes, one name can be for more than one person. So the first name I'm hearing is Mikkel, M-Y-K-A-L, Mikkel. I hope I'm saying that correctly. The next name I'm hearing is Alex. But um, this person, I don't know why I hear Alex and then see Axel. Maybe that's my dyslexia. I don't know. It's it's extremely possible that's the case. Uh, the next name I'm hearing is Shanene. The next name I'm hearing is um, Tim or Timothy. The next name I'm hearing is Jen or Jenny. And the next name I'm hearing is, um, oh, I know who this is for, Jim, Jim, Jimmy, James, Jen or Jenny. And I know you don't like being called Jenny. I do. But it just comes out that way. Um, and I'm not going to go into that. Uh, sorry, Jimmy James, Jimmy James, Jimmy James. Oh, I'm trying not to lose my poop right now. So I'm just turning this into a joke. I'm going to just push that aside, aside, aside. Because um, we're only doing names right now. I'm not doing a full-on message for anybody this way. Um, the next name I'm hearing is Michaela. The next name I'm hearing is, um, Jesus, Michelle, stop it. Michelle, the next name I'm hearing is, um, oh, so Jim James is, is not going away, apparently, because he's sending all all the names through, but I'm going to keep, I'm going to persevere. I'm going to get through it. Arr, I'm going to persevere. Uh, the next name I'm hearing is uh, Delilah. And then I'm going to do two more names, you guys. And the next name I'm hearing is again, Shanene, two different names, please. <laughs> the next name I'm <laughs> Shanene. I feel like I need to make up a song based on the name Shanene. I just feel like that should be a song. And I don't think you guys even know where my mind goes with that song in the Shanene. Like, uh, she did the Shanene and it was, hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so immature. Oh my God, why I'm single? I'm so immature. <laughs> why I'm single? <laughs> Really, really, I mean, I'm really immature. <laughs> okay, uh, two more names. Okay, who who else? Um, jo Josephina, Josephine or Josephina. And then the next name I'm hearing is um, L-A-U-D-E. I can't, I can't say it. I'm sorry, loud, loudy, loud, loudy. Leodi, I don't know. Those are the names. Now I'm going to go straight into songs. And the first thing I'm hearing is the Righteous Brothers, which I know is not a song, but it is a, a, a group, the Righteous Brothers and whatever, anything, I guess, by the Righteous Brothers. The next uh, song I'm hearing is take, that song, Take Me to Church, which by the way, I know I say this every time. I kind of like that song. I kind of do. Um, and then that song, um, I'm only human, 
<laughs> that I love that song, probably because of the deep voice that the guy who sings it has. Oh, oh yeah. I'm only human. You say I'm done, done. No, 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 no. I don't know the words. And I like the song and I don't even know the words. So that should tell you a lot about these songs coming through. Okay, the next song I'm hearing is... Um, The next song I'm hearing is, um, I don't even know if this is an artist, but Chelsea Grammer, and that might be two different artists, but that's what I'm hearing. And then the, the next song is Live and Let Live and Let Die. And then the next song is They just keep going back over the same songs again. So I'm going to let that go. Now I'm going to do the channeling, today's channeling. But before I do it, the channeling, while I'm listening to the, while I'm, do, while I'm speaking the channeling and listening myself, I want to do a clearing for everyone listening, watching. And this is anything stopping or blocking money from coming to us is being cleared now. I get a no. So let's heal, clear, release this. All that caused um, and kept. All that caused and kept this block has been healed, cleared, and released, and I get a no. And then channeling is when angels like basically just step in and speak to you. These this message is for everyone listening. And it is the angels that come in and speak. Mm -hmm. This is not a time for separation. This is a time for unity. This is a time to open your eyes and realize that the whole world in front of you is the world of your thoughts and what you have created. While one person may see discord, another person may see peace. While one person may see destruction, another person may see construction. This is the time to realize that in your mind you hold the future. So sorry. What you think in your mind is what is going to unfold in front of you. So if you hold thoughts of destruction, destruction, fear, unraveling of, that is what will appear in front of you. Some powers that be are trying to make you to see with your mind, see only what is bad and fearful and keep you in a place filled downtrodden. Allow yourself to see enlightenment. Allow yourself to see the future that you want to see for your mind is the projector and the world is the screen. Your mind is the projector and the world is the screen. Your mind is the projector and the world is a screen. Whatever you put here as your perceived future is what will show in front of you. If certain Entities allow you to stay in a space of fear, guilt, shame, any lower negative emotions and or feelings, you will then project that onto your screen. We want to give you a small example. In certain areas or certain countries, it is thought of as uh, despair and um, poverty. And then if you look at your area or certain other areas, they are thought of as uh, prosperity and free. You must keep your projector projecting visions and thoughts and feelings of love and freedom and unity. You must keep yourself in that space of pure knowing of moving forward in this space and time with only what you wish and want. Okay. 
Oh, I really, 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 really like that. I hope you guys enjoyed that too. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I am going to go into callers in a second. And I want to say hi to everybody online uh, joining in in the chat. And we have Sal here. We have Patrick here. Um, Anne is here. Fawn is here. Mimi. Hey, Mimi. Thank you for doing all the time stamps in the things. Um, Genevieve is here. Rebecca. I feel like I'm missing someone. Um, but it's, it's okay. If I missed you, I just want you to know I, I, I didn't, I didn't do it intentionally. Okay. Everybody remember, I'm going to be back Wednesday at 7 PM. We are just getting started with the show. One of the things I want to, um, talk about today, and I'm going to take callers and then try to talk in between callers. But usually once I take a caller, I just like, keep taking callers and keep answering questions. But there's something that's coming through about relationships that really wants to come out today. And it's it's a channeling. And this thing about relationships and us being, um, it, it will come out through the show, I'm sure of it. But in between callers, I'm going to try to stop and take a break and talk a little bit about work and relationship and that projector in the mind that they were talking about. And I, I just want to say this again. Well, I did a clearing on, you know, you like yourself and you love yourself on TikTok this morning, but I am going to say this and it's, it was a huge epiphany and we don't even realize that we have this going on within us. If we don't love ourselves, no matter how many times somebody tells you that they love you, you will never believe them. Your mind reaction or your internal reaction may be, sure, why? What makes you love me? You're just saying that because you want A, B, and C. And for many of us, no matter how we grew up or what situation we had growing up, we did not, we do not unconditionally love ourselves the way we want someone else to love us. And that I'm going to tell you now, I'm channeling again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm sorry, you guys. I am such a dork. I love it. I won't change that for nobody. Um, the, the purpose, you're going to be shocked when I tell you this. The purpose of your life is love. But now pay attention here. And you need to get this. Oh, I'm being blown away. Tony is being blown away because I know what they're going to say. Oh, my God. The purpose of this life is love, unconditional love, but self-love. Now hear us out. Hear us out. This may be, if you never hear anything again, this is probably the only thing you need to hear. That projector in your mind that projects what you see on that screen is even creating or bringing in the people that are playing out that scene on the screen in accordance to how much you love yourself. What if we were to tell you, you are the only person in your universe and you create all these scenarios and all these people to bring you back to a place of unconditional whole love? Okay, just I have to say that I need to start rewriting my script personally. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, here we go again. Your whole existence, your whole purpose, your whole reason for being here is self-love. Now, we will tell you this. 
the amount of anything and everything that you allow yourself without guilt, without question, without hesitation, will tell you the amount of self-love that you have. So everybody thinks they need to work on their prosperity and their money and their, I want this house and I need this job. What you are allowing yourself is how much love you have for yourself. You say, I need a partner that does this or that or that loves me. You need to love yourself because in that place of love, you can only attract what you are and who you are. And the people who show up are often showing up to show you to help you see where you do not love or respect or give to yourself. And we want to go one step further. And you say, and you say, and you say, I just want somebody to love me. Mm. Love is a word that is so thrown around. We are going to say this to you. You want care. You need to love unconditionally yourself. <clears throat> but what you really want is somebody who cares for you, somebody who cares about you, somebody who will take care of you in whatever way. We see all these little girls out here asking for these bags, these uh, purses, these Chanel, these Louis Vuittons, these, and they equate that to a form of care, a form of showing love. And the truth is, that is external validation for something internally lacking. And what we are going to challenge you to do is to see where you love yourself, write a list of everything that you like about yourself without hesitation, then make the list of the things you think can improve. Those are the areas where you have a lack of love. And that I will bet you is what you think everybody else thinks about you, my dear friend, my dear loved one. Once you have complete acceptance of yourself, complete acceptance of who you are and what you do, and you don't give a happy hoo-hoo what anybody else thinks, you will meet that person. You will have that money. You will get everything you want, everything, without hesitation. Oh. Okay, I think I can start taking callers now, everybody. Y'all, I'm not Southern, but... <clears throat> yeah, all oh, y'all. Sorry if that clapping was loud, everybody. Wow. Okay. I need a drink on that. Here's to smoothie mornings. Um, if you are on YouTube, comment. Comment where that hits you. Let me know. And if you're not watching this live, you're watching it after the fact in the comments put, did that resonate? Did you feel that? Was that it for you? Okay, I'm going to take callers, and in between callers, I'm going to answer questions on YouTube and do healings and clearings on YouTube, and let's double down on that self-love one. We unconditionally like and love ourselves. I get a no. Let's clear that. Now we know the goal, right? Uh, the first caller is 203. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Tony, it's Pat from Connecticut. Hey Pat, how can I help you this morning? Those, uh, the the channel the channeling was great and okay. absolutely perfect. And okay. I was I was not going to ask you about a relationship because I I think I felt a little embarrassed and was afraid for the answer. But this is perfect. So I'd like to ask about Sam. Is he treating me properly? Is it just a guy thing? It's been so long, Tony. I don't have a clue. And should I just switch this to say no to him the way he's acting and just go back to a friendship? Yes, to the last question. Listen, I, I'm going to say something here. Here's what I'm going to, for you and every other person listening, um, if we are confused about the way a person is treating us, 
<clears throat> chances are they are not treating us completely. We're just trying to fluff it off or make excuses for them because we know what appropriate treatment is because we treat, a pre we treat people appropriately. So if somebody's not treating us in a way that we have to question that treatment or it leaves us feeling confused, there's either manipulation, lies, or mistreatment going on because we're pretty sane people and we know what good treatment is. We know what healthy treatment is. But we also want to give people the benefit of the doubt and don't, don't. So these are, we are not dealing with 16 year olds who have never been in a relationship before. We are dealing with full grown people who have had at least one other person tell them this is not correct behavior. This is not the way you treat somebody. This is inappropriate. So chances are, if you're asking this question, you already know the answer. And the answer is, if we have to ask, is this normal? No, no, it's not. Because we, we know we've been through enough to know what normal and good is. By the time we're asking the question, they're not even at good. They're subpar. They are subpar behavior at that point. But we're so... Either, and sweetie, I'm not saying you, I'm not saying you, we are either a little desperate for love and care, or we just really want something to work out, or it has been a minute, so we're not sure, like, is this what's really going on in the world today? But whatever it is, the moment we have to question it, step back, take a week of no contact, if you can. And then find out if you feel better. And then separation always brings clarity. Okay, separation will always bring clarity. And I say, don't just think things out, write them out. If you are trying to figure out if something is good, bad, or indifferent, write it out. And then here's the most important thing I say to people. The person you love the most in your life, whether it be a child, if you have a child, a niece or a nephew, would you want them to be in a relationship with this person or with somebody who behaves like this person to the person that you love? No, chances are no, never, never. You would do everything in your power to let that not happen. So do the same for yourself, okay? Yeah. May I ask another question regarding respect? Yeah, uh, sure, sure, go ahead. He questioned whether we should move forward because he did not want to ruin the friendship. Is he being disrespectful? That's okay, so I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. Thank you for asking that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. That's an excuse. Every guy on YouTube chat right now when a guy says that i'm gonna tell you that's an excuse because what i'm gonna just say this men know what they want and when they want something nothing will stop them because they are the hunters they are the gatherers unless he's shooting up estrogen every night and i think he's not um i'm just going to tell you right now that that whole, I don't want to ruin the friendship line is a line. And women use wow, it too. I bought it. <laughs> we, that's okay. It's a very, it's a very nice way of telling somebody, um, I don't want to be in a relationship. It's a way of them saying it without hurting you. Um, but the truth of the matter is, First, never pursue, never chase, never, as a woman, never pursue a guy because men know how to pursue women. They're not shy. They're not missing yeah. the signals. It, even men who 
think they don't have a shot with a woman will go up to a bar in a bar and talk to them. They will go up to a yeah. woman any place and talk to them. If they see something they like, they're going to go for it. So please, um, in this case, just take your self-respect and say, you know what? I thought about it. You're absolutely correct. We cannot ruin this friendship. Thank you for being upfront and honest with me. Now I can move forward in a direction with somebody who, whatever. And you don't even have to add that, but just get yourself. Don't be hurt by this. Be honored by it that they were they were decent enough to be honest, and then move forward in the best possible way. But don't let this um, be the defining factor. Maintain a friendship, but if you can. If you cannot, just move forward and do the best you can. Pat, thank you so much for calling in. I'm so grateful for that. I am going to try to get to the um, next caller now. Um, I want to, I'm, I'm having trouble seeing the print on the um, chat today. Um, so I want to say your name is, I'm going to have to get really close to this girl. Oh, I just have to block out the light. Ariane, I'm not your first time here. I think I need to hear this. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, and welcome to the show. I'm sorry I can't see your name correctly. The light behind the screen is kind of blinding me. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go directly to the next caller who is again um i want to say that's 586 <clears throat> 586 what's your name and where are you calling from hi 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 my name is sharon i'm calling from michigan how are you i'm excellent i'm sorry what is your name love um sharon i'm calling from michigan sharon okay thank you sharon um how can i help you today beautiful mm -hmm. Yes, I can just like the um, message from the other side, please. And or from my spirit guides or whoever okay. that wants to come forward. Okay, the first thing I see is um, I'm going to tell you, I see this dance. Um, and it, I don't know if you're watching on YouTube, but I cannot do this, but I'm going to do my best. It's where they go, hey, <laughs> and they lean back and snap, and then they come forward, and then they go the other way and lean back and snap. Um, uh, rock with it, roll with it, rock with I don't even know if that's a song. I think it is. That is the first thing I see for you. Okay, and the second thing. Lean with it, rock with it. Yeah, okay, thank you, thank you. And then the second thing I see, I have two elders coming in, elders being ancestors of yours. And one of them is a woman who has dark skin and she was, um, fuller, like a fuller woman. And then a man next to her who was probably a little bit thinner than her. And then a third man steps in who was, um, he had that weight in his body area, but maybe not in his legs. So these are the three people who instantly stepped in. One of them could be an uncle-ish, but I feel like one of them is a mom or a grandmom for sure, because I hear mom, mom, mom. Yeah, grandmother. Okay, grandmom is here. And the person next to her, the people next to her are her, I feel like they're her relatives. I don't know if one of them was her partner. Yeah. But a partner can be a relative too, like a husband is family. But it, what, these are the three people who instantly step through. They're standing behind me um, on my right. And they're here. The, the biggest message that they want to give you today is to um, keep moving forward. Um, they want you to start... Um, and I hear that song every day I'm hustling because I don't want to say they want you to start if you're not doing something on your own. They want you to set up and start something that you can also do on your own. And if you have started something on your own, there's going to be a segue. This is going to segue into another thing that coexists with it that you're going to be able to do together. These two things, they're like piggybackers they they work well together okay 
Does this message make sense? So, so what should I start on my own? I'm sorry? No, so what should I start on my own? What should you start on your own? Well, I can tell you one yeah. of the things, I, I could tell you a million different types of business that you could start on your own. But what I'm getting right now mm -hmm. is it's something that's deep inside of you. And do you, okay, do you have a little girl, Sherelle? Do you have a daughter? I do. Okay, because they're showing me. I do me, have a daughter. They're showing me like this cutest little girl, and you do this thing with her little hairs. Um, okay, so yes, this is correct. They do. I do have the right. So I don't know if what you're going to do has something to do with children and children's. Um, <clears throat> okay, I don't know. I am getting something here that I almost, I don't know if I should, I'm not going to tell you this in private, obviously, because we're, oh, we're, we're on the show, show right now, but I'm going to say one of the things that you could do on your own has, how, how old is your Bubba now? Yes. How old is your little Bubba now? Oh, she's about to be seven months. She was born one, yeah. one, one, January 11th oh, of this year. Yeah, Jesus, man, and Moses. Yeah, she's got. <laughs> Holy guacamole. Okay. One of the things I'm getting is to start a. You could start something called Baby Sounds. And um, that should have put something in your head. But if it didn't, it is definitely like not necessary. It's like sound track so, mm -hmm. like literally baby sounds on things okay next um you're also very um i feel like i'm getting the word ingenuitive and or intuitive which means that you should start honing that now um there's a certain period of time while pregnant and right after pregnancy where that intuition just kicks your but, and they're asking you to really tap into it and don't let it go. Don't let it fade away um, and keep working okay. with it so that you can keep that. I do feel like there are a couple of different things you can do. Like I see you are like this person. You could make body scrubs or creams or I just see something in jars. I'm assuming it's that. You could do, it's like a, you know, like a beauty jar, but natural. You could do a number of different things yes. that you really are very passionate about. And this could be a whole baby line, but a baby line that adults mm -hmm. could also use because, well, we need the goody goods on our skin too, instead of all the chemical <laughs> stuff they're, they're pushing at That's us. That's right. Um, so I feel like it could start off with one product and then piggyback or branch into another product and definitely use your intuition with this because I feel like in doing this, you're going to mm -hmm. meet the term I'm getting is meet the masses. And one of the things that they're saying your, your peeps um, are saying is get back to your roots. Now, this can mean a couple different things. Okay. Get back to your roots. And could, what is that? It could mean, now you, you could know what that means already. When I say get back to your roots, you might go, oh, I know exactly what they're I'm talking about. I'm thinking the chakra. Okay. Yes, get to my root chakra. It could be, <laughs> I see two other things. Um, roots being, it could be the roots Asset. Because we're talking about a hair uh, product, it could be something for the roots of your right. hair or whatever, or get back to your roots doing clean products again for, okay. for like you know, get back to the roots of it. The, the good, the goody good stuff, the clean, clear stuff is all I'm getting like, like shea mm -hmm. butter when it was shea butter. Okay. Um, not when it had okay. like all these fake scents 
and um, colors in it. But just get back, get back to basics, get back to roots and build it and you will meet the masses. When you when you start this, don't worry about how many people you get it to. Worry about getting it to the right people instead of the number okay. of people. Okay, so overall, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I, I'm not going to hold you up anymore longer. Just to make sure I have the clear message that you have mentioned to me is that you see me having um, a product line with babies and adults as far as um, like skincare or anything dealing with, you know, that. Correct. And and here's what I'm going to say. If I'm getting it correctly, yes. yes. But if if what I'm telling you later on, you go, oh, maybe get back to the roots means baby <laughs> doing like clean food for babies or doing clean products, whatever it hits you later. And you're going to know because you should be passionate. It should be something that you've already thought about. But one thing I am getting okay. for sure, sure, I mean, for sure, sure, yes. I mean, no two ways <laughs> about for sure, sure, is when your baby is happy and when your baby is cooing, make sure you're recording that and making tracks called baby sounds. Okay, I don't baby know sounds. where you're going to go with that. Okay. I think I know where you're going to go with that. I like where that could go, <laughs> but that could be very soothing for other infants and toddlers too. So, uh, I, I mean, there's like okay. a whole world where that could go for someone, right? Mm. So yes. take, do what you will <laughs> and what you want with all of okay. this yummy, yummy goodness that they've given you. I do see you going on a really big natural kick, like making natural popsicles. And maybe this is just for your home, but whatever what? it's for, <laughs> whatever it's for, I feel like it's coming in if it hasn't hit you already. Now, what everything I said, you have to put it into your own passion and run with it. Okay? I will, yes. And thank you so much. I love how you just broke everything down and really dig deep into things. And I, I really appreciate that. I'm going to go back and listen to the podcast. I love thank that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm so grateful that you called in today. I'm so happy I was able to talk yeah, with you. Yeah, me too. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank congratulations you. on your bubba. Um, I can hear her in the background being so mm, cooing and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go directly to eight six. I think it's eight six zero eight six zero. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Amla. How are you? Hey, I'm good, Amla. How are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> I, have, uh, I have two questions. So basically, um. There's, I'm going to a comedian, and it's like, I don't go to those shows, but I'm really drawn to this guy, um, just just general, not like anything else, but he's just really funny, and I like his humor because it's clean, it's not underlining, I just like his humor, it's just, it's just fun and loving, and I just love it, so I was just wondering, um, do you think we should just go for it, and like, in the sense, I wanted to be bold and ask if I could meet him, like after or or before the um, the uh, the his his event itself, I they are giving me great great awesome seats because I'm disabled. So they're they are basically letting me sit at a really good spot at this event at the end of August. And I was also going to give him my book if I could do that. I don't know what you see. I'm just excited. I feel like you could give him your book. I feel like that would be good. I don't know what, if anything, I feel like he may, he may, um, this comedian may read it. Um, I do feel like, here's my thing. It never hurts to ask. It never hurts to ask, you know, hey, can we have a meet and greet? Um, 
And yeah. hey, can I, is it okay if I ask the, the people, is it okay if you give him a book? Some people are funny about that. Um, one thing I am getting is if you meet him, don't be offended by anything he says. Remember, he's a comedian and they never turn it off. And in awkward situations, comedians say really awkward things. Now, I know I'm not a comedian, but I think I'm funny and, and awkward. Yeah. I will you say <laughs> comedians take the opportunity to make everything into a joke. So please don't, yeah. if you do yeah. meet before and or after, make sure you're not being offended by anything stated. Make sure you're not being offended by anything that it might get said or not get said. Okay. And then you'll, yeah. you're going to be just fine. Okay, yeah. love. So do you feel like, do you feel like, um, is it 50, 50 for me to meet him? What? Or, it's definitely a good idea to give him the book. Yes. And again, I would ask his, what I'm going to call handlers. And I do feel like there is, you know, here's what I'm going to say, Amla. Sometimes it depends on the day. Like, for example, right now it looks good. But if he has a day where everything's running late or he just had a bad phone call right before he's supposed to do this show or his day starts to turn, um, he might know or he gets drunk or whatever during or before the show, maybe then it will change. But as of right now, it looks okay. It looks like it will be something that is good. Um, however, the day of the show, uh, it will see, but it looks good right now. And again, I say, um, there's no harm in asking and trying to set it up. I will tell you in the past when I've done events, I, you know, I don't mind obviously talking with people after the fact pre event. I'm really in that space where I'm just trying to keep all the voices in. My <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say the quiet part out loud. Keeping all the voices in my head at bay. Now, no, I do not need medication. Well, unless you ask my family, but I'm just gonna, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to keep it like get it together and not whatever. Um, and if I like meet with, if I would meet with people other than the people helping me put the event together before the show, it, you know, it would distract from it. Um, so after ask if it's a possibility and don't expect a lot of time, don't take up a lot of time, just, Hey, thanks. I really appreciate you. I wanted to give you this and then move on with your day. Um, and that's what I can say. Okay. Hey, Joy, thanks for joining the show. Um, I am going to go to the next caller who is 917. And then I'm going to take Joy's question on the YouTube chat. 917, what's your name and where are you calling from? 917. Okay, everybody, I have a three second rule. And unfortunately, 917 is probably uh, probably not there. I'm going to take Joy's question and then I'm going to go to 347. So 347, hold on. Joy is saying, can you channel guides? How do we not feel guilt, say, around money or loving ourselves? Okay, um, Joy, that's a really good question. And I'm going to tell you the guilt comes from something else. That's everything I know about guilt, which personally, 
personal experience, I know a buttload about guilt and shame. And this is probably rooted, I'm getting joy for you when you were two or three. So we're going to clear, heal, release all guilt, all shame, all that caused it, all that has kept it. Oh, we're going to uh, clear, heal, release this. As I'm stopping or blocking this from going. I get a yes. We're going to heal, clear, and release that. I'm going to tell you something. When it comes to money and what else did you say, say here um, and loving ourselves, they're the same thing. Whatever we allow ourselves, guilt is like maybe an excuse, but whew, I'm clearing this. So it's a little over, it's a lot. So I'm like trying to get my words together at the same time. So please forgive me while I try to do this. Um, I'm going to tell you this. When we have judged ourselves for something that we have done or something that someone has done to us, then we feel like we don't deserve or when we have been punished we or scolded even as a young child we then judge ourselves and we feel like we don't deserve so any and all judgment any and all not feeling like we deserve we are good enough or any of that in any verbiage has been healed cleared released i get no uh <clears throat> all that caused and or kept this, has healed, cleared, released. I get a no. We're going to heal, clear, release all of this. Here's what I'm going to tell you, Joy. Uh, this should clear by tomorrow. Throughout the day and by tomorrow, you should wake up feeling better. Um, everything that happens, and a lot of people don't like to hear this, but everything that happens is pretty much destined. Not everything but a lot of it, well, everything. To what extent we take it is not destined. So like we can meet somebody and get in a relationship with them and they may not be the best person for us and they may be teaching us very difficult lessons. Those lessons will go until we jump out of that relationship, okay? But that was our choice to stay in as long as we did. OK, if we have people in our lives, friends, family, workers, co-workers that are not treating us appropriately, it's up to us to stay or to be there as long as we choose to. And we can jump out when we want. In the case of guilt and uh, self-love, especially with money, I'm there's so much I can say, but this clearing is kicking my butt. I'm going to be really honest about that. It's, it has my mind like just scattered. Um, sometimes the guilt with money comes from what we hear in our home as a child. If we overheard parents talking about money or we asked for money or many different dynamics, but I'm going to say to you, receiving in general, just receiving in general, whether it be love, money, gifts, is a huge issue. So we're going to do a clearing. I, I receive, I receive, we receive uh, graciously and gratefully. I get a no. Let's heal, clear, release that. And that's anything, uh, feelings and, and uh, material items. Whew. And um, all that cause and kept this. Let's clear everything with this. And I literally am feeling um, physical things right here, which are releasing. So if you guys are feeling this, please let me know. Um, thank you for asking that. I'm going to go to 347 quickly because uh, the clock is running down. 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? <laughs> Hi, Tony. This is Katie. Hey, Katie, how can I help you today? Hi, I have a quick question. Yeah. Um, I was planning to move to Charlotte, North Carolina, and um, I'm still really open to it. Um, I'm just wondering about moving there or possibly um, an opportunity has a, uh, came up with an apartment in the town I'm in, which is not North Carolina. 
And I'm just wondering about about that, about either moving or um, or about taking the the apartment in the town I'm in. Okay, so should she stay where she is? Should she go to North? I'm hearing you need to. It would be really good for you to relocate. Now, I'm not the boss of you. I'm not telling you what to do. In the end, you have to sit with yourself and figure out, Do you, are you ready to restart your life? Are you ready for a whole new beginning and to redesign yourself and to show up as someone new? If you are, go North Carolina or go Southern, go uh, Florida. Um, they took Texas off the list, but you can go North Carolina or you can go Florida. Are, are, are you in Tennessee right now, love? Are you in Tennessee? No, no, no. I'm okay. in New York. I'm in okay. New York. Yeah, they want but, you. Um, I'm going to tell I'm, you. Yeah, no. Let me, mm -hmm. let me real quick. I'm really sorry. I want to do this real quick because I have like... Okay three minutes left of the show. You can go okay. North Carolina and you can do it. You can go Florida or you can go Tennessee. They've taken Texas off the list. Texas is no longer viable. But if you go Tennessee, you'll be happy. You'll find something in your price range. But they are asking you to go. Okay. I know what they're saying because of what they're showing me. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to find a way to say it that's not as blatant or blunt as what they're showing me. And, okay, I'm just going to do it because I don't have the time to, like, uh -huh. pussyfoot around this. Sorry for the word, <laughs> everybody. Sorry. Um, kitty cat foot around this. There we go. Um, stop. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not the boss of you, but this is just the way the message is coming through. Stop uh -huh. trying to live like you're still 21 and get into a place that allows you to meet the people you want to meet and be in the atmospheres and the um, energy of where you want to be, not where you once were. If you're going to try to be in that cool or look, I'm in the middle of Miami. Ooh, you're not 21 anymore. You don't need to be there anymore. You need to grow it up. You need to sophisticate it up. You need to level it the fudge up. You need, you want this man so that's, that's all power. like this. That's you want this power. relationship that's all like this. You want these people that are all like that, but you're still clubbing it. You're still in areas where it's like, hey, ho, no, 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 no. And they are, cannot be more clear about the fact, live where you want to be or how you want to look or how you want to come off to people. Stop going to, you can visit that. We can all go back and visit the club, but we don't have to live in that area. I feel like we're that there. those areas in for where you want to land, those areas are, aren't even uh, viably safe is the term they're using. So my love, um, North Carolina, <laughs> Florida, or Tennessee, but, but in a little bit more of a, a sophisticated area. Okay. Yes. Ah. Yes. Yes. I got that. I would be there. Thank you. You are so welcome. Beautiful. Thank you. Katie, have an amazing rest of the uh, week. You I, thank, thank, you. You. Th thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I thank you so thank much for calling in. That was the perfect um, last call for the show. Everybody, I will be back Wednesday at noon. If you would like a private session, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O or... 414-897-2869. You can call in. I'll be call me. I'll be happy to schedule that. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much for joining the show, for being here. Thank you, everybody who has liked and subscribed. If you're listening on a podcast, YouTube, or any other place where you listen to it. And thank you for watching on any of the stations, um, Rude Rangers TV, WSCS, or any of their stations that they send me out on. Thank you everybody so much.